Deepa Barua, welcome to Stiftung Mercator. What motivates you? What is the force that drives you? Thank you very much. Uh, the main motivation is my country. Uh, its main motivation is my uh, uh, people of the country. My main motivation is the family. So, what uh, in Bangladesh in 1996 started a uh, Grameen Shakti, but in 1976 we started Grameen Bank in my own village. I was a student in the Commerce Department. So, uh, and from my student life I started. So, from day one I'm involved. And in 1996 found that only 15% people have electricity and 85% people have no electricity. In that situation, we are thinking how to uh, produce electricity for the people and the grid electricity is only limited in the urban area. So we thought about the renewable sources. So one is solar, one is uh, wind, one is biomass. But we found that wind is speed only for three months. We installed four wind turbines, 1.5 kilowatt, three, one ten kilowatt. But only three months we get only speed. And the biomass we are producing uh, some kind of a uh, biogas plant, but for electricity, uh, sunshine is available uh, around the uh, 365 days a year, 340 days of sunshine. So we thought of the solar energy, and the people are suffering for energy, but we need uh, electricity, light, running a television, mobile phone, everything. So uh, that's necessity, uh, our driving force uh, to take initiative of solar energy in Bangladesh. So far, you have, or your institution has installed more than 400,000 solar home systems in Bangladesh. What were the key factors for the success of this initiative? Yeah, when we took the solar initiative in 1996, uh, people don't understand about solar energy and the cost was so high. I bought a, a $7 per peak word from at that time Siemens in Germany. You know, uh, now we are buying less than $2. You see, $7 per peak word. We started a 17 watt panel from Siemens, uh, but eventually it's so cost, but uh, at the end of the day, people are not willing to buy. We visited 10, 20 times to convince them. But at the end of the day, I'm thinking uh, we have uh, so much knowledge about the financing microcredit. I discussed with our uh, people in the village level, what we are replacing, kerosene we are replacing. The kerosene cost day by day is increasing, government withdrawal subsidy. So 4 liter, 5 liter kerosene generally people are using. So now 55 taka, less than a dollar, near about dollar. So they can save 5 dollar per month. But the installment for the solar energy has come around 10 dollar per month. So it's still 50% they save money from kerosene and another 50% they are. So but a small system they can save 100% from kerosene and they can pay. So I'm popularizing a concept at the cost of kerosene you can buy a solar home system. Initially, people don't believe it. Now, now the price is going down. Now, almost we are about to at the cost of kerosene. So, this is one. The giving a loan, we give a higher purchase. Whole systems at three hundred fifty dollar. We give them. They are paying a 10, 15 percent down. But remaining uh, seven, eight dollar, they are paying ten dollar according to difference. As we have a ten watt, twenty watt, thirty watt, forty watt, fifty watt, sixty five, seventy five, eighty five. 100, 130, there are 10, there are 11 varieties. So people, people, according to the ability, they can buy. So this is financing one. Number two, access maintenance is very important. Whether the light is on, uh, the battery is working. So we train young boys and girls in the rural area. They maintain the system. So they are uh, get a good services and they are paying it. And now, the every month we are installing uh, 25,000 system. Grameen Shukti, 20,000 system and other company came up so 10,000, 30,000 system. I believe uh, we can install 50,000 system per month. I have created a foundation recently after getting the award from Abu Dhabi called a Jayat Fusion Energy Prize. This is a big prize, uh, first time introduced through me and $1.5 million and gold medal. So we introduced uh, this uh, kind of a uh, green energy scholarship, uh, Jayat scholarship to the young girls and they are producing charge control, electronic balance, lampshade, they are earning $100 per month. So they are maintaining the system. I believe it would be interesting, uh, the one is the financing, after such maintenance, and the different product available to the people, mm -hmm. and, uh, and maintenance at the doorstep. So these are the key factors for the success. Your initiative has been very successful. 
the solution you offer seems to be simple and easy to achieve. Do other developing countries copy your idea? Yeah, I think uh, now a lot of enthusiasm is coming up. Uh, we are getting a lot of invitation. Even uh, recently I got email, uh, they're looking all these things. They say, why not poorer part of the USA? You cannot, why don't you try? So one guy is working in uh, Washington, he told me, uh, he's working for the banking with the border. Banking with the border. So banker with the border, I think they have the knowledge and they say, we will select some area pilot testing. And now we started in a uh, Tanzania, uh, replicating one of a German friend from Hamburg. They are working in uh, Tanzania, so they visited us. They got knowledge, and uh, one in a, uh, another uh, West African country. Uh, they are also Accra, Ghana. They are replicating. Recently, we, we 2007, uh, we, I got the uh, alternative Nobel Prize for Livelihood Award. So we are here because of a uh, 30 years. Uh, celebrating all the laureate here and uh, one of laureates co-laureate in the same year for peace building from Kenya uh, Daka Ibrahim she's very deep person she's a very champion in peace building in Kenya so now uh, we are both designing a project for Kenya so she will send some people to Bangladesh and we will send some people so that we're training and, and we will start a program in Kenya and GTZ invited me in Ethiopia so we are planning to do in Ethiopia I think the lot of demand in India some of them are visited and they start a replication and the Minister for Renewable Energy in India Dr. Abdullah Farooq also showing interest on our activities they invited me to go on uh, October I believe a uh, lot of enthusiasm and inspiration coming up. Now we have to help them, technical assistance to other countries to replicate this model. Uh, not exactly saying, considering their own situation, we have to redesign. But the philosophy is the renewable energy. Philosophy how to give them the general people, not at not at a uh, upfront cost, but uh, their payment monthly or quarterly or anything. And again, after sales maintenance, and they're producing the small accessories in the grassroots level, and they can earn money and involving the women in the technology dissemination. I think it will work in other countries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.